previously on Dance Academy. She's awesome. <laughs> hey, should she be part of our gang? You guys should call it a day. Don't want to mess with perfection. Again? Yippee. If you need someone to dance with, I've got my costume right here. No, this one's mine. It's the end of the world. It tracks all of your out-of-class activities for maximum time management. I'm freaking you out, aren't I? Now, you've got your whole life mapped out in front of you. I don't even know if I want to get into the company or not. Wait, so you've been lying to me. You don't want to be with me long term. Just getting the framing right. One of the things I like best about being a dancer is that it's choreographed. You know where you're going to be at all times. You know I trust your camera skills completely, but... Do you think the light might be better over there? Every moment has been workshopped to make it as perfect as possible. Imagine if life was that way. If life was choreographed, you'd say the right thing in every situation. Everyone would be in sync. It's cluttered. It's dynamic. Dynamic equals high distinction. Not in a choreography assessment. You want it to be less specky, more well-crafted. Let's go from the top. I know it's supposed to be that the fun is in the unexpected. But seriously, how good would it be if someone just gave you the steps? So, Kat. So, Ben. Have you been to Luna Park lately? I was thinking we should do a Sunday dodgem session. Ooh, I'm a fiend behind the wheel. Samuel. That big clown face at the front gives me nightmares. Childhood trauma. I kind of meant more like... Like a what, Ben? You know, like a, a date type scenario. Oh, Benjamin Tickle, you do flatter a girl. Okay, after we get to detention. Ladies. How am I supposed to impress a girl like Kat when she's used to Miles Kelly levels of coolness? That guy's an ice pole and I'm like a slushy. I've got to pull out the big guns. Find something that's gonna completely blow her away. Absolutely, right after you've worked on ideas for our choreography assessment. Two birds, one stone. Is that where people go out and dance in public? Flash mobbing. It's a whole new world movement. And Kat's going to see me as the icy pole I am. So she's in? I don't know. You haven't asked her yet, but I'm guessing you won't take no for an answer. OK, we'll start off with a quick bar. Briefing at lunchtime. Petty bum on rising. Lie, pirouettes, balance. I'm in fifth. Tara, what was that? 
Instead of scurrying off behind the shed, you should be practicing. Tara's out of time. Part of beret. Tara's missed a step. Will someone else please mess up so I can stop picking on her? So I've had some thoughts on our Cory assessment. Ow. Grace, it's due in two days. I've been working on a solo with Ethan. Another one? You should feel honoured to receive a Webster care package. Swap. No can do. Your dad knitted this from Tupac's wool. Tupac. I wasn't gonna shear a sheep without giving her a name. Oh. Don't. It's not a cute thing. Don't you two have somewhere you should be? Class, perhaps? Um, we were just discussing our assessment piece. I'd like to see it. Wait, there's a better bit. Sorry. You're both scholarship students. Do you know what that means? That we're a power couple? It means that your training is being supported by benefactors who want to know their money is being spent well. We both really appreciate our scholarships. Besides this assessment, your exams are next week. I see no evidence of you appreciating anything but each other. No, we're, we're trying to create a dance slash life balance. Don't push me, Christian. Your friendship can wait. Your training cannot. Miss Rain's got you freaked, hasn't she? No. Yes. We've been distracting each other and neither of us can afford to lose our scholarship. That's not gonna happen. Exactly. Priority one is this choreography assessment, then the exams, and after that we can just pick up where we left off. Where was that again? Miss Rain's right. Relationships can wait. All we're doing is just hitting pause for a bit. Right. See you at lunch. You right? I just got paused. There, see? It's all there underneath. You just have to strip back the layers. Ah, oh, subtext. Hey, Grace. The chemistry in this room, out of control. I literally have goosebumps. What's she talking about? I get it. You're not ready to go public yet. My lips are sealed. Okay, that was weird. She has a warped imagination mm. from the jump. Yeah, sorry. Uh, do you want some music with that? Yes. At 2.45pm, we alight from the train. That's right, I did use the word alight. And at 2.53, we board the ferry. And then, 3.05, the passengers have their minds blown. Hey, um, we should practice our piece. I thought we weren't partners anymore. What? You're distracting me, Tara. How about we put this on his feet? Hey, nice work, partner. This is Ben's project as well. Yeah, what? Didn't I mention that? Cat, mm -mm. look, I'm so glad you're here. Want to help me demonstrate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd uh, love to. I just need you to start a bit closer. A bit closer again. One more. So we'll start with a basic time step. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. I blame you for this. Well, I didn't know you were so adverse to the Ben stuff. And those puppy dog eyes. He's just like a puppy. They keep on pestering you until you either play with them or kick them. 
So you're going to kick the puppy? I can't kick the puppy. I just have to let him down gently. Again. Who are you saving yourself for anyway? Christian is so infuriating. What are you doing with this? Christian gave it to me. I just don't get it. I just don't get him. Whoa, deep breath, T. Uh, he said you paused him. A little pre-exam hiatus. You, you actually use the word pause. That's like precursor for your dumped. But that's not what I meant. Yeah, but that's what Christian heard. He's a snow dome. We like our metaphors today. Well, actually, he's the snowman inside the snow dome. All he's had his whole life are snowstorms. You know, his mum dying, his dad taking off. Well, what does that have to do with focusing on exams? For the first time, he begins to drop his guard. And what happens? Bam! Blizzard Central all over again. Christian? So I need a take back because the last thing I want is to be on pause with you. Yeah? We well, seem pretty sure before. Well, sometimes it's like my brain is on fast forward and then, you know, I just keep thinking and thinking, but instead of things getting clearer, you know, that they just get all blurry and... You should see someone about that. <laughs> Can we hit play again? Because without you, my disc just keeps skipping. Keep skipping, keep skipping, keep skipping, 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 keep skipping, skipping. Ethan and me, are you off your meds? Just telling it like it is. Stop. He's earnest, shiny, and he fell for Tara, so he can add weak-minded to the list. Well, good. I hate it when friends disappear because of some guy. Good. We can't even be in the same room now. I'm gonna fail my assessment. We'll whip something up. I'm thinking we can harness my recent Joy Division obsession. What do I tell him? Isn't he just doing you a favour? He'll cope. So I like your new decorating. You two looked alike. We were alike. And your dad? Yeah, let's hope not. You must think about him, though. He hung around long enough to change a couple of nappies and then he lost interest. Do you think if he'd stuck around, you wouldn't have these rejection issues? Rejection issues? I said pause and you heard stop. We could talk about that if you want. No, I think we should flick to a new channel. Ethan? I really appreciate all your help, but this isn't going to work. Yeah, totally agree. I've been watching these clips of an ensemble who actually play with speed rates. It's given me a really cool idea. Come, I'll show you. Uh, Kat. Hi. Hey. Uh, um, look, if I knew you were stopping by, I would have... Um, Put on some pants. <laughs> Look, I just came to say Thank that. Thank you so I... much for the flash mob feedback today. You really have a unique way of looking at things. I do? Yeah. It's like everything you get involved in is suddenly five times more fun. Oh, sorry, I, I cut you off before. Uh, I'll bring a camera tomorrow so we have a spare. Great. Night. 
Okay, stop there. Now we're going to do exactly the same movements, but this time at a slower frame rate. Okay? Okay. Keep it fluid. That's it. Last chance to flash mob tomorrow. Are you guys in? Yeah. yeah. Get pumped. Devil pay. Okay. You do know it's not really Bieber in the chat room. Have you been eating MSG again? What? You're all flustered. It's called rehearsal. Try it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's it. Just practice the curry while we wait. Has anyone seen Cat? Yay, so Joy Division. Do you think it's too much of a hipster cliche to do something with fixies? Is that English? Good morning. Okay. I'll tell you later. Well, he's cyber-stalking Christian's dad. Shush. You were right yesterday. All of his problems go back to his dad leaving. I thought if he could, if he could meet him, find out Is why. Is it shuffle tap or tap shuffle? Shuffle tap. Shuffle tap. Amateur psychology needs to stop. You're worse at it than I am. Sammy, you of all people should know how much it would help to have some family support around. Okay. Nice link between me and my parental issues. But they're for me to work out, no one else. T, promise me you're gonna drop this, okay? Okay, flashes, let's get flashing. <laughs> In a strictly non-nude sense. <laughs> okay, so after the dance, we're split up and meet back at Observatory Hill. And no flash mob chat while we're traveling. Right. I don't want some random blowing our cover. Partner with spare camera reporting for duty. <laughs> Great. You couldn't quite keep the puppy, could you? Shut up. <laughs> yes, it's weird, but we're both focused. We're both ambitious. Sounds hot. We could be like the new Natasha and Sebastian of the ballet world. Did I actually just say that? Houston, we have a problem. Sorry, do I know you? The ferries are on strike. We didn't authorise that code. No, no code. The ferries are on strike. I don't believe in ferries. The ferry boats, Ben, they're not running. No, no, but the assessment's due tomorrow. Hey, this was pretty ambitious, OK? I'm sure they won't judge if we go any simpler. Tell Ethan to start filming now. Quick. Here? Just do a go for launch now. We're doing it now.
Hey, did we rock that train or what? I thought the point was to surprise the public, not your dancers. Did you see that? I am slushy no longer. I like not fighting with you. If I do something that annoys you, then you should tell me. I mean it, and you shouldn't keep stuff bottled up either. Full disclosure. That could work. In that case, there's something I need to tell you. about before huh? the whole teasing you and Abigail totally juvenile uh, don't worry about it projection excuse me I think that's what it's called when you accuse someone of feeling a certain way but it's actually you who has those feelings Abby wait <laughs> So the name on the back of the photo, I put it into the search box and there he was, your dad. Wow. I know. I never thought that I'd actually find him. I didn't make a friend request or anything, but you could, and then if you want to meet him, I would totally come with you. Christian? That was insane. I was so surprised. Top up? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, sorry. You it's just a foot, Ben. It's okay. It's not just any foot here. Whoa, bend down, boy. No, I'll just go rinse it. I'll just go rinse it. Please. Abby. I have no idea what just happened. I was talking to Ethan, trying to suss out what was going on with you guys, and then his tongue was down my throat. Christian. Go away, Ty. I don't want to say something I regret. What, what about full disclosure? Think you're the only one who can Google someone? I know where my dad is. I choose not to have anything to do with him. Why? What, what if meeting him fixed me? You mean fix me? Why are you always wanting to change me? I just want you to be happy. No, you don't. No, you want me to be different. The, the, the pie chart, the constant pressure about my commitment. I can't even set up a camera right. I don't need your help, Tara. I'm fine without you. I forget that when you're choreographing a ballet, there's a rehearsal period, and everyone knows which part they're supposed to play. In life, it's easy to overcomplicate things, or try too hard to control other people. You okay? I'm fine. And then there's a chance you might be left alone in your own dance, where you're the only one that knows the steps. Good, Tara. That's showing a lot more promise. Margot Fontaine's most famous partner was Rudolf Nureyev. When they first met, she was 43 and the star of the English ballet world. Nureyev was a 24-year-old nobody from Russia. On the surface, they had nothing in common. But when they danced together, it was like they had one body, one soul. Ballet hasn't changed much since then. Every day, we do the same exercises. And once a semester, the teachers examine us hunting for flaws. Five minutes till pen's down. But the magic Fontaine and Uray have had can't be assessed in a classroom. It was this wordless understanding that bound two people together. And once it existed, it could never be broken. Hey, 
Okay, be back here tomorrow at nine for some intense yet rewarding part of her scrutiny. We'll be examining the first and third years as well, so there's going to be a bit of waiting around. And guys, it's your responsibility to be warmed up and ready to go on time. You know in rugby, there's a bond between teammates. He has your back and you have his. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's the connection we're looking for tomorrow. Oh, Saskia, do you mind taking a look at our contemporary part of it? I've got physio at five, but yeah, I can give you a couple of minutes. Hey, I've got to make this dinner shift, but we could meet back about 10, 10.30. All I'm doing tonight is having a hot bath, a massage, and going straight to bed. Well, I can help you with that. That's inappropriate, sorry. It's exam week, and that's your partner. How are you not clawing out your own hair? Abs, what will be, will be. Come on, I'm buying you a shiatsu. Those skills are white hot. Be gone with your compliments. We are not on speaking terms. Why? You broke up with Tara. Under Article 107 of the BFF Code, I'm on her side for the rest of eternity. I'd hate to contravene girl code, but is there a loophole to double as your skating tutor? I thought you said my skills were hot. Lied. So, be brutal, we can take it. No, it was, it was promising. Ben, you're really coming into yourself. I had a lot of presents. I have presents. Yeah, I can smell it from here. Which was needed because Tara, yikes. I'm sorry, I know you don't want to hear that right now. No, that's, um, was there anything specific that I could work on? I wish I could pinpoint something, but it was just an overall general impression. And I know you guys are tired, okay, but keep working because in my experience, this is when the best breakthroughs happen. You should have asked for the less brutal option. This place is dead. You may as well go home. You can practice here. Well, now you go, I'll lock up. Don't tease me, Dishbrook. I want to do this by hand to get them a proper going over. Wait, check this out. It's a new system for maximising accessibility. I recognise this syndrome. Exam displacement activity. Wrong. This semester has been mental. I'm finally in the zone, Jess. I feel like I'm operating on a, on a higher plane of existence. You should go to sleep. See if you can astral travel. Well, I don't need to sleep. It, my brain is firing. I've never felt more alive. All right, just make sure you set the deadbolt. And stop tormenting the crockery. Saskia doesn't rate you. That's not true. She pushes me because she believes in me. OK, then you keep rehearsing. I'm going to bed. Well, what about I have your back and you have mine? Were those just empty words, Ben? Beach tomorrow. Oh, 0600 hours. Game day huddle. I can't practice part of her by myself. She twitches when she sees you. This is Christian. Voicemail costs money, so be interesting. I know technically we're not talking, but I really need your help. My mom always used to tell me off for picking my scabs. <laughs> well, Ethan used to eat his. She told me I was being unfair, undoing all their work when they were just trying to make me better. Kind of like Tara? You think I need fixing too? <laughs> no. No. Then again, I've always known deep down that you were the pin-up boy for the Academy. They didn't tell me they were going to do this. That place is unbelievable. Uh -huh. 
Okay, that's not Oh, necessary. hey, come on, it's just exam blues. If you want to feel seriously depressed, try failing veggie mats. I mean, what's even below that? Tofu. See what I did there? <laughs> Dad joke. <sighs> Move one more time and you're sleeping in the laundry. Sorry, I just have to send this message. Maybe I'm not receiving calls. Here, let me see. They seem harsh in your world of rainbows and unicorns, but relationships are a power struggle. I need someone to help me practice. He used to be my partner, he's the logical choice. Right, Padado, that's why you're calling him. He's your ex, not your phone a friend. He's not my ex, this is a temporary situation. But you're right, I'm not gonna call him, even if I could. Good for you. I'm going over. I'll tear you up late, last minute cramming. No, I was worried. That happens when you leave someone 16 messages and they don't respond to any of them. Well, I'm fine. Obviously. I'm the one who stuck with a part of her partner who doesn't believe in practice or deodorant, and when I call to ask for help... My phone must have been flat. Sorry. Oh, I can absolutely help you practice. Let's get down to the studio now. See? Problem solved. That's not the point. The point is... The point? The, 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 po the point is that... The, the point is that... You shouldn't let your battery run down so low. Oh, actually, it prolongs their life and it gives them a proper recharge. Good night. Sunshine Streams in the blind Again Tell me again how this is supposed to help with part of death. Our resistance training plus all the Zen benefits. <laughs> I always try to get in the swim before a big performance. Please get the brain cavities. That's kind of like why I collect four-leaf clovers. It's the only time my mind goes completely still. The only time? Come on, I thought you wanted to practice. Here. Yeah. The escape. Oh, how I looked at you this morning. Couldn't find the words to shape them out Oh, how we could have been so easily removed You ready? Oh, I'm so ready. I've been there and back. We were brilliant. Oh, so should I go back to bed? Let's crack this puppy open. So what else happens on game day? Uh, steak for breakfast and usually just trying to avoid unnecessary stress. Where is he? Like that. Where is who? You've sabotaged my exam prospects because of the latest instalment in your ridiculous romantic saga. Question's not here. An incisive deduction, Tara. We're supposed to be on next. Miss uh, Kat's brother's here to see her. Family emergency. Ethan? I'm busting you out. What? I suddenly got the urge to do something fun. And I couldn't think of a more worthy wingman. Uh, okay, but aren't you meant to be in part of death this morning? You're right. Exams. They're depressing. Uh, no, no, you can't listen to me. My life is a mess. They could kick you out for ditching. Or maybe they should. Go back. I'm serious. I don't want you on my conscience. This is Christian. Voicemail costs money, so be interesting.
Thank you. No, thank you, Miss Rain. That was fun. Next couple, please. I'm sorry, my partner's not here. Where's Christian? Oh, chest infection. Um, he's been coughing up a lung, but um, I've I've done it with Abby. Like we, I can do it with her. Um, or I could go with Grace. Turn it into a duo. Instantly, a whole new take on some Tide choreography. Thank you, Grace. But Samuel should take the opportunity to perform again. It can only get better. First positions. Safe hands. So interesting. I didn't even know Kat had a brother. So are you two close? Yeah, I love Kat. <laughs> Don't feel special. They're boy starved here. Bye, Kat's brother. So, what are we up to now? We are taking you back to the academy. What else have you got in mind? Uh, I've got work. You'd have to help out though, and I don't think you'd be into it. Lead the way. Okay. There's still time to get back. Look, I know you're mad at me, Christian, but you can't throw away this whole semester. If I've shattered my spine, the blood is on your hands, Christian! Come on, Dr. Wicks is gonna make you feel all better. <laughs> so, Christian's a no-show. What did you do this time? It's personal. Saskia, have I done anything to offend you? Why would you ask that? Well, someone said they thought maybe you had a problem with me just because you've been giving me a hard time in class. Tara, I give you a hard time in class because you need it. You know it's a difficult body to work with. Imagine how embarrassing it would be for both of us if the star of first year failed. Hmm? Did you see it? The twitch? Hmm, she really doesn't rate you. I have to take my opportunities to dance where I can find them. Now that I'm not at the academy. Do you like how subtle that was? Mm. You should go into life coaching. Uh -huh. Here we go. Har. Is anyone here named Charlotte? I'm here. Come on, girls, let's have a fairy party. Fairies of old, fairies of new, sprinkle on fairy dust, and you'll be one too. <laughs> my name's Lilac, and I'm the birthday fairy. This is my sidekick, Captain Backflip. Who wants to become a part of the magical fairies club? Follow me, girls. Fairy wings up. Fairy wings down. Fairy wings up. Fairy wings down. Skip and run, 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 run. Fairy feet. And Cassie. Run, 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 run. Fairy toes. Hi. Captain Backflip is a stupid name. Bet you can't even do one. Yes, I can. This is my day out. Is it my dad paying you? Abigail, we should talk about why you were so uncomfortable dancing with me before. If you're not over our relationship, that's nothing to be ashamed of. What did you just say? Work. Hey, Jess. Uh, when I threw you the keys and you caught them, were you just working on your ball skills? What? No, no, I locked up. Interesting, because the keys are here, and you know what's not? Last night's takings. You realize you're not how me for this. over our relationship I am? I'm so, so over it, I'd like it expunged from my memory. Hang on a sec, wait. What? No, not you, Jess. Well, I, I can't believe I could have done that. 
self-indulgent, conceited, inconsiderate, deranged person I've ever met. I'll talk to you later. I have to call the police. You did not break my heart, but you have broken my coccyx. Your scan looks fine, Abigail. I think it's just some slight bruising. <sighs> you look pale. How are you feeling? Actually, there's this tightness in my chest. <laughs> Is there a problem, Tara? Miss Rain, could I talk to you outside? This is an exam. Whatever you have to say, you can say to the panel. Please, it's private. I don't think Saskia is going to mark me fairly. She's been repeatedly awful to me. Stop! And... I asked Saskia to be tough on you, to push you. And she says you've been more focused on boyfriends than her class. That, that's not true. I know you, Tara. We've talked about your distorted priorities. I'll let you come back in this afternoon, but you will not make any more excuses for being underprepared. My family will want a traditional Jewish funeral. But when it comes down to it, I want a beach memorial, you know? My favourite song with some classic semi-stories. Bit of dancing. Write that down. Twenty controlled breaths next time you're feeling panicky. It's not a panic attack, it's my heart. You need to order an ECG. Blow. How many of these has he been drinking? Is it a sugar frenzy? He doesn't do well with red cordial. <gasps> and far too much caffeine. It's no wonder your heart's racing. This is liquid poison. How's that feeling now? It's so weird. I can see my name in lights. You'll live. At least you will if you stop drinking these. Ah, oh, can you smell that? The salt in the harbour. The apple blossoms in your shampoo. You overdosed on energy drinks. Not quite a near-death experience. Even your cranky voice sounds beautiful to me. Can I ask it? The reason you're working all these extra hours is so you can afford to stay at the academy. Mm. Is that not a pointless exercise if you're going to fail your exams? I'm not going to fail. I'm going to get the scholarship. You saw me in part of this morning. I'm brilliant. Deluded. If you think you danced well. You really think that? You've gone backwards since last year. It's like everything that I do is under obligation. I, mean, I audition for the Academy because of my mom and this year with Tara. I, mean, I think she expects me to be that guy on the poster. You know what I mean? You boys having fun? If he had stopped talking. Oh. Thank you. I don't know if I'm that guy on the poster. I could be, but I think I'd just like the chance to figure that out for myself. Okay, you gotta get more height and then just go with your instincts. Did you see that? There it is. This is Christian. Voicemail costs money, so. Hey, I found you something. <laughs> wow, thanks, Ben. Is that chewing gum? <laughs> I couldn't find a four. These three leaf ones are overrepresented. So you ready to go back in? Oh, um, yeah, arms out. I'm fine as I am. I'm sorry. You've been replaced. You're dead to me. No, you're safe with Christian. I'm no good to anyone until I get some sleep. FYI, according to the panel, you have a chest infection.
Fontaine and Nure have both danced with other people. It wasn't the same bond, but it was brilliant in different ways. That's the beauty of Pas de Deux. You don't have to carry it all by yourself. If the bond is strong enough, even when you're dancing solo, you know you're not alone. You came back? Not for you. For me. Decided to keep my options open. Maybe the very hardest part of connecting with anyone is when you have to let them go. And just hope they find a way to come back to you. The last day of semester, when holidays are about to start, the air starts to go kind of hazy. It's like we've been holding our breath for months. That final exam goes so slowly. Like we're going to be stuck in that studio till the end of time. You can say it, Lucy. Thank you, students. You're free. And then it's over. And we can breathe again. <laughs> Mr. Lieberman. <laughs> go, go, can go! Can you believe we're going to see the South Vlogs tonight? I'm calling it best show ever. First things first! Maybe we could talk about stuff now that exams are over. You're really not making that sound like fun. Which is kind of a priority right now. Boys. Go, 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 tiny go, go. brains, cold hearts. Go, 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 go. You're joining my girls' night. By the time we finish, you won't remember his name. I failed all of them. The official results won't be released until next week, but I thought you should know sooner rather than later. So, so I'm guessing the scholarship's out of the question then? As is the Prix de Fontaine. Potentially, you could retake your exams, but that's not even an option until we sort out your financials. I can't call my dad. If, if I fail, it's like he's won. Look, it's been a long week. Get some rest, and we can discuss your future in the morning. I think your phone might need recharging. I don't take social calls during exam week. Right. So I'm guessing that you're not going to get much of a holiday with the Prix de Fontaine coming up? Mm, how perceptive. Prep classes start tomorrow. Well, I've got a few ideas for a new classical solver. You want to work together again? Yeah, I've been looking forward to it. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the dancer-choreographer relationship is based on trust. OK, I'm going to go out on a limb here. This is about Grace launching herself at me the other day, isn't it? She wasn't the one doing the launching, Heath. Someone's playing games here, Abigail. It's not me. All right, talk to me about the South Dockers. Uh, Brooklyn's finest hip-hop dance crew, formed in 1996 by Dr. Royd and Mohani. No, I mean, I, I canceled my shift. I want in. Dude's not out. What did Miss Rain want? Uh, I was gonna ask you the same thing about Tara. When she left that exam, she had a let's talk look in her eye. All right, rule number one for tonight. Talking about females of any kind is banned. Yeah, rules. I love it when a dude's not out gets official. <laughs> Okay, hey, well, this is disturbing. Cat, ignore everything you just heard. You can totally be a token female. Very attractive offer, really, but uh, no, I have prior engagements. I just came past to say happy holidays, and I look forward to seeing this disaster on Storkbook. Bye. Someone stop her. Katrina? 
Christian, you know where my priorities lie. But this will be more fun. Mm. Come on, Tara. Time for some catharsis. I can't. He looks so wistful. Shut up and egg his face already. <sighs> Who said ballet girls don't know how to party? Hey! So, legal studies exam, good or bad? Yes. In more interesting news, my agents just got a stack of free tickets to the South Doggers tonight, under 18s only. So? Apparently, they're shooting a film clip and want a few professional dancers, i.e. moi, plus friends. Uh, we've got a pretty huge night planned already, Kat. Sorry, Grace. Do you mind if I do this instead? You'd think she'd want one night off dancing. Count us in. Oh, goody. Ben, tickets. Me? I thought you were buying the tickets. No, I put you in charge of organization. Okay, look, let's just keep our eye on the prize. Sammy, we need your good looks and Ben, your powers of persuasion. Now, shouldn't it be the other way around? That was an insult, wasn't it? Uh, I need to see tickets, boys. Oh, you didn't see us come out before? No. Got stamps? Dude, I told you we needed stamps. Sorry, my bad, mate. I mean, Delta Roy. Good. He's my cousin. Mate, here, check this out. What am I looking at? Mate, you're looking at three guys who's gonna make this gig that much cooler. This is what happens when we forget to bring his leash. When did you get a tat? I don't know. A week ago? I was gonna show Cat, but... Sorry, no girl talk. Don't you have to be 18? Yeah, but people always think I'm older, the way I move and stuff. We need a plan B. We've got 13 hours before prep class starts. And your inevitable reconciliation with Tara. Rule violation. We are going to make the most of it. I've got an idea. Let me capture the moment. Who's that? Ben. Is he still crushing? Don't worry. He'll get bored eventually. Well, don't say that. I want one of us to be in love, even if it's not me. OK. The pathetic boy talk stops now, OK? I don't think I can do this. Oh, you can't go wrong with black. I can't do casual dancing. Pardon? She means unstructured and choreographed. It's a common problem for the semi-trained. Maybe I should just stay home and mope. Oh, don't listen to her. I'll show you casual dancing. How old are you guys? 20. We're from uni. Do you know what you're after? He wants a dolphin jumping through a rainbow. We'd like to see a few more options. Sure. Well, there's a couple of clients having some work done out the back. If you want to hang around, have a squeeze at the books. And this is plan B. What can I say? You're an inspiration. Wait, every time my dad sees someone with a tattoo, he's like, well, check out that cretin. It just, it makes me want one more. Well, I can't let you fly solo. Yeah, and I've already got one, obviously. With any luck, Miss Rain will ban me from the Prix de Fontaine. And that's a good thing. Well, it saves me from having to quit. Oh, Christian would be so embarrassed watching this. He always has to be just too cool, you know? Like, he's too cool to talk about what happened. He tells me he loves me, and then he pushes me away. It, it was really unfair. Eventually, he'll realise that I am so good for him, and then he'll come crawling back, and I'll be like, sorry, you missed your chance, pal. OK, less lips, more hips. Um, is it just me, or is Kat really overbearing? <laughs> and a useless tutor. <laughs> Kat, get out of the way. Wow! Welcome to the party, Armstrong! Woo! I remember this one! Who's that? Oh, just Tara. You gonna message her back? Have you picked one out for us yet? 
So you're seriously quitting the pre? Well, if it's a choice between some stupid competition and surfing for two weeks. Some people are pretty psyched about that stupid competition. All right, first you're on my case about Tara, and now Supri. You should be thanking me for bailing. One less competitor. <laughs> wow, thanks so much. Relax, the worst is over. So, what's the verdict? Sweet Pea, for this one, I want to get the richest blacks I can, and to do that, I need to go in deep. When I say deep, we're talking to the bone here, to the marrow. You want it to look good, don't you? As it's there for life, yes. No, no, I'm, I'm not sure about this leaving my stuff. Come on. It's called Symbolic Rebellion, Ben. Oh, sweet mother, don't Shut you? Shut up! Look, just look at this. You're here under false pretenses. What? Doesn't change anything. Sammy, if you're trying to prove a point, there are better ways. Are you all suggesting I bail? What a surprise. What is with you tonight? I don't expect you to understand, okay? Go. He's 16, by the way. Uh. What is your problem? Hey, hey! Huh? Come Go on. Go home to your mummy, boys. Come on, boys. hit me. Fight back. Guys, get off. You break any car, uh. hold the car. Uh. Guys. Uh. 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 I work so much harder. Come on, guys. You don't miss show for exams, Sammy. and they still let you this pass. This is really exciting. We should probably go now. Why don't you just give me a scholarship nice. while you're at it, Christian? Sammy, come on, mate. <gasps> OK, ladies. I'm the official bag lady and phone guardian. Give them up. G'day, girls. Tickets, please. Uh, we're with the Anne Black Agency. Four. Have a good evening. Hey girls, smile off the camera. Oh, oh, um, Hi mum! Um, Caps and hair! <laughs> okay, let's go on. All of them. Total fail. If I can't get Dad to start writing checks soon, then... This might be my last night as an Academy student. Oh, I'm sorry about hassling you before about Tara. It's just, I care about her. So do I. I think I've been trying to get her out of my system. It'd be easier, but maybe I can't. The girls can get us into the South Dockers. They're at the gig. How did that happen? Cat as well? Is my eye really swelled up? Does it look tough? No. no. Let me watch you dance. Hey, this place is packed. Yeah. Okay, hey. <laughs> hey. Sammy, what are you doing here? What? Hey, players, welcome to my party. Ben, put me down. Hey. better. Okay, um, this week has been pretty ordinary. And I've been thinking maybe it's time we unpaused. Excuse me? We should probably try again. 
Did you just say unpaused? Yeah, uh, sorry, bad joke. It wasn't a pause. You broke up with me without giving me a chance to explain. Do you have any idea how much that hurt? Every time we do this, I should have known you would have made this difficult. I'm sorry, Christian, for not making it easy for you. Refreshment assistant? No, I'm going. You okay? I'll talk to you in the morning about it. You know I'd give you my scholarship if I could. What changed? What? After the flash mob, I thought you liked me back. I'm not picking up that vibe anymore. There's, there's someone else. One of those inappropriate, unattainable situations. Sorry. No, it's fine. Great, actually. It's usually because I'm annoying. Hey guys. Oh yes, please. Thanks, Sammy. Amazing. Thanks so much for putting us on the door. I didn't. I thought you guys bought tickets. You texted Christian about it. Whoever it was, it wasn't me. It was Kat. Uh, excuse me? You've been texting Christian all night. How would you know? Thank you, Abigail. Sorry, what? Wanna check her phone? Why, why have you been texting Christian? You guys are allowed to talk, you're friends. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so when he tells you that the breakup was all my fault, what do you say? I don't talk about that stuff with him, Tara. I wouldn't. But truth time, I don't think he should have tried to contact his dad. He wants to meet him, I, I know he does. Maybe. But that's just another way of saying there's something wrong with you. There is something wrong with him. There's something wrong with all of us, T. I shouldn't have come out tonight. No, you know what? I don't feel great. I'm gonna go home. But you should stay here with the other guys. And you can't trust your friends. I trust her. I trust her more than anyone.
Hey. It's weird. I was just messaging you, telling you not to message me anymore. What happened? There were some highs. There were some lows. It was character building. I wish you came with us tonight. You're so easy. Wow. Just what a lady wants to hear. No, I, that's not what I mean. I mean, everything's a lot easier when you're around. Well, I totally agree. Things should be easy. Black slice cheese. Who ever thought that a big block of cheese would be easy? You can't grab the cheese and just have a big bite of it. Well, you can, but then the whole... Oh, okay, sorry. It wasn't your fault. <sighs> sort of was. Bye. Last night was fun. Yeah. You did a good job getting rid of Kat. She deserved it. She lied to Tara's face. So it was all for Tara. <laughs> it kind of seemed like you're out to get Kat the moment she hijacked your night. Judgment abs. Really? You've done a lot worse. Only to get ahead of the Academy. Not for fun. Ethan. I have five seconds before pre-class and one question. If you choreograph my solo, do I still get co-credit? <laughs> nope. thoughts overnight? I'm gonna call my dad. But whatever he says, I'm not ready to give up yet. During exams, I can't wait to get away from the academy. But it's only when I'm back that the world makes sense again. So I talk to Kat. Right. And she said that she thought that I went way overboard trying to track down your dad. And she was right. So were you. After everything we went through, it was unfair to end things like that. So what do we do now? I thought I needed a break from this place. I think I need a break from us. A break up. I'm sorry. Okay. Two weeks until preliminaries, gang. Let's make them count. I hold my breath when I'm here. And I can't breathe when I'm not. But at least when I'm dancing, I know what to work on. There's a way to fix things.